So I already have a kitchen here with a living room, uh, but we will see together how to modify things and like how to create finishes and everything. So to start, as we are talking about the kitchen, I just wanted to show you where to find uh, everything related to the kitchen, right? So for that, you just, here you have three different tabs. So you have the structures with all the different structures like doors, windows, and everything. Then you have product uh, with the different products uh, that are organized per uh, rooms. And then you have sources with products that are from or catalog. It's, it's product with already a color and a texture, right? So here for the kitchen, uh, we will go to product here, and then we will uh, select kitchen product. And from this tab here, you have all the, everything you need to create a kitchen. So you have the appliances, cabinets, everything. So here, I won't go too much into it because we already have our plan. The goal here is to show you how to amend every uh, different item and structure. So for example, uh, if I, take a door, so we are uh, on a structure. Uh, the door here, I have selected a door. We have a lot of different uh, choices of doors. I took this one, so French door single. Uh, I can modify the dimensions, of course, the width and the height. And then I am able to select the color. Uh, here I can take like chocolate brown, for example. So I change the color. And here we can also decide of the finish for the hardware. So if I click on it, let's say I want the gold one. Here you can see that the color here is gold. So this will be the same for every single item and structure uh, with different uh, informations and different like possibilities according to the to the project, right? So here, if I take for example. Um, a window, which is another structure. Again, I had different choices. I had different windows. Uh, I took this one, so the window uh, with two double hung. Uh, again, I can select the dimensions here. I can select the position from the floor, of course, because we're talking about a, a window and I can decide the color and the finishes. Uh, then uh, let's talk about uh, the kitchen island here. The kitchen island will have uh, also a lot of different uh, possibilities. So you have here uh, different dimensions than you can choose. Uh, so of course, like previously, I choose a cabinet. So I choose this two double sided base island. Uh, I could have selected a different one. Okay, it's, uh, I have different selections. I decided to take this one. So in this one, I have all these dimensions available. I took the largest one. I have different panel style. So let's say if uh, like here I've selected the arced one, I can take the slab one, for example, that is very simple, like all flat. So here you see the difference. I can select uh, a color if I want. Uh, if I prefer, I can also just select uh, like, so we can here select paint color or otherwise you can just select uh, the pre-populated colors that we have here. Let's say I want a white oak, for example, here I go. So it's a different texture and color. And then we have different uh, finishes. Uh, so uh, like here, yes, here I will have other finishes. So I will be able to select uh, the worktop. So, this part here, if I want, uh, let's say the Arctic for marble, for example, but I have a large uh, selection of possibilities here. And I would be able to select the edge design here. So we are uh, with the bull nose right now. Can take, for example, the, the east one here. You can see the difference of shape, right? Uh, and here you have the overhang that is very helpful. So here we have 40 centimeters, which is like everywhere in front and like in every uh, side of the kitchen island. 
but if I want to select, for example, uh, an overhang in front or back, left or right, it's possible as well. And here we have the selection for the hardware. Pause you there, Flora. Do we have yes, any sure. questions so far? Yes, of course. Is that clear so far? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Good. So here uh, you have the 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 hardware style here. So again, you have a large selection here. If I want to take something like the knob rectangular, for example, you can see here the difference. And then I can select uh, another color. Let's say I want the Satin Nickel here. Here I go. So like, again, like all of this uh, is really like, uh, you have a lot of possibilities to so just play around with it uh, and see uh, what what you want to what you want to do. The idea is really that you 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 have the maximum of choices, right? Uh, then, as we are speaking about a kitchen, we will talk about the sink here. So I select the sink. So I always need to select it, right, uh, in order to like to be able to amend it. Uh, and we are on the door house. If we were on the floor plan, it would be very different. It would be like it would be like that. But here I really want to show you what it looks like. So when uh, we're talking about all, all that is Finnish related, the best way is to amend it on the dollhouse so that you can see literally what you're doing. Otherwise on the floor plan, you won't see it. The floor plan is here more to uh, be able to move the different things in your room. You won't be able to move the different items in the dollhouse. Uh, so in the sink here, up. Let's see what we can do. So again, I had a different, like a lot of different options uh, for the sink. Uh, one, I selected this one. So this two door farmhouse sink base cabinet. Uh, I can select the different dimensions again here. Uh, I took the largest one. Uh, then I can select here, uh, so the configuration. So do I want a double sink uh, or, oh no, this one is like for the, for the cabinet. So let's see, here you go. So you have the configuration of the cabinet here. We take the farmhouse sink. Then here uh, you can select finish if you want for the panel style. If you want something, for example, if you want to leave it white like that, you don't select any color. Otherwise you can select a paint color or you can select like the pre-populated uh, materials and colors we already have. Laura, if you want to select multiple different cabinets in one go, is there a way to do that? And if so, how? Yes, so uh, to select all the different cabinets uh, you need, Oh, sorry, you it's just like in the go kitchen. to base cabinet here multiple and different... you can select everything you want. Uh, you can all the little delay. <laughs> so, uh, as soon as you click on one of them, you are able to have the different options you have. Uh, sorry, Flora, okay. what I meant was can I um like hold on to multiple different cabinets in the kitchen already? Yes, to, to change the color. Yeah. No. I, I don't know. Connections. No. Oh, I think I lost her. Let's lost see. Her. Anyways, I can see that we have some chats while she's joining. SketchUp takes a long time. Great that we can quickly amend existing item. Can we upload items for CAD file online at all? Uh, currently, no. Um, I know that they are working on like a lot of improvements always for the 3D floor planner. Um, a lot of designers are asking if they can use the um, items that they have clipped in the clipper tool in the 3D floor planner. And they cannot because those are 2D. Mm. However, the CAD one are in 3D, right? Uh, so that is a great uh, product request. So what I'll do, I'll uh, um, add that in and see uh, what and when. 
it can happen. Okay, I came back. Uh, I just turn off my camera. I think yes, it sir. might be better for the for the connection. Uh, so yes, here we are still uh, on uh, our sync. Uh, so we selected the different uh, dimensions, uh, the different uh, the panel style, uh, the finish. If I want to, uh, then I can decide uh, the work top the work top style. So here we are uh, in marble everywhere. But if I want, I can select a beige rest granite, for example to show you you see you have all around here uh that is changed so we will keep the marble for this one uh, for the overhang you can select the number of centimeters again you can select if you want it in front back left or right and you have uh, the hardware style here so again like here we are on a knob rectangular but i can select uh, the cylinder for example and you can see the difference you can select the, the color as well. Uh, we are on a double sync. If I wanted to have a single sync, I could just select single sync here. And uh, there I can select the different tab as well. So let's say I want a pull down traditional. Here you go, you can see the difference. Uh, so uh, this is it for the sink. Uh, then talking about uh, the kitchen, we have the splashback here. So if we click on it, uh, we have again all the, the different dimensions we, we, we want. I've extended it between uh, the oven and the fridge, but if I wanted to, I could uh, have it smaller. Uh, I can also have it uh, higher if I want. Uh, I can select the distance from the floor. Uh, I can select the width, uh, the height, the depth. And here we have all the different finishes. So there's a large uh, amount of choices, as you can see. So just navigating it to see all the different options that you that you have. <laughs> 